How's it going YouTube? Zero here and today guys I have a very very special video I want to share with you guys. It's it's one of the craziest things that has ever happened in, in Smash Travels. This is the story of how Michikin almost died in Mexico. The, I don't even, I, dude, I'll, I'm gonna have to start from the very beginning. Basically what happened is that me and Michikin got invited to visit Mexico for a brawl national tournament in the beginning of 2014, like at the very the first two weeks of January. So me and Jason went there in different flights. Um, I got flown out there for free. They, they got, they get, they, they got, they took care of my, of my plane tickets and we went there and Jason uh, had a girlfriend at the time and he wanted to really go out there and visit his girlfriend at the time. And I wanted to get to know another culture that also speaks Spanish because I come from Chile. We speak Spanish down there. And obviously based on that, I, I was very excited to get to know the people up there. And dude, let me tell you, Mexico was awesome. We had we had great food. We we shared a lot of great times with a lot of different people. And the brawl players were also real were also really good. Players like Ymes, Richie, Huga, and Ganzo were all very skilled players from a region that didn't really have that many tournaments. So it was very surprising. Now the tournament had wrapped up. I ended up taking singles. Michigan got second, and we ended up winning doubles. Now, Jason, after the after tournament, started drinking irresponsibly. I, to, I, didn't, I, I don't drink, and I, did, I told Jason to be careful about drinking. Now, he obviously was not careful, otherwise we wouldn't have a story. And then, oh man, so, so at, at the tournament is, is hosted by this guy called CT. Not actually like CT, like in class tournaments, but like like CT, like C-I-T-I, -I, or in Spanish, CT. And he held a tournament at his house. Now, that, that sounds very weird, but he has that, he actually lives in a mansion, and a very big mansion, too. So it's, it can easily hold like 100, 150 people easily, which was the case for Smash Factor 2. And, dude, when you wanted to get from the first floor to the second floor where the dorms were at, you had to go through this long set of stairs. stairs. And they were made out of wood, which is important to the context of the story in just a bit. Jason started drinking irresponsibly in the first floor, and then he walked, he ran up the stairs to the second floor. And you had like a weird type of balcony with like a ledge of wood that you could like. So here's the stairs. The stairs you go up this and this, and then you make it right. And you're up here, and then there's like, a, like. A ledge of wood that goes over to the center of the room of the big ballroom and you can it's like it's like small I think it's like the thing that was like holding up the staircase because you have the stair staircase going on one way and then there was like a wall of wood covering covering that and Michigan just decided it was a great freaking idea to walk above the ledge and drunk as hell going like Ooh. and guess what happened you freaking fell <laughs> he freaking fell and let me tell you from on the other side towards the bottom. So here's here's the staircase. Here's the, here's the wall that divides the staircase and the floor. The floor is made out of concrete. So there, here's death. Here's death. Here's the stairs. He ended up somehow luckily falling onto the stairs, breaking the floor of the stairs, which were made out of wood, which kind of softened his fall because he could have fall into the, you know, concrete and just straight up die. He broke that and then he rolled down the stairs. I ran up to there. I was so scared. I was scared for my life because I thought he died. And then I'm shaking him up. I'm like, Jason, are you okay? Do you want me to take you to the hospital? How's your, how are you feeling? How's your head? And he's like, I'm okay. My back just hurts a little bit. I just want to lay down. I'm like, you sure? We can just take you to the hospital right now. Please let me know. Because no, not really many people speak English there. So I was the only guy like that could help him. And then damn, dude, what ended up happening right after is that Michikin was like, just randomly just laid down and then he was fine the next morning, which was insane. But he was this close of falling on the concrete and maybe break an arm, maybe just die or just whatever. It would, could have been awful. And it was one of the scariest moments I ever been in my life. Cause you know, you don't want one of your best friends to just straight up die or just lose, you know, their arms or legs or something. You, you don't know. And it was scary. and. Oh man, whenever Jason is drinking, it's just it's just scary. I, I don't I don't like when he drinks. I try to 
I always babysit him when we drink. When 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 we're drinking, I don't drink. I don't really drink, but I, I mean, I'll take my cup or two. But but when Jason is drinking, I I always make sure to babysit him because I don't want anything wrong to happen with him. But man, that trip in Mexico was crazy and. And, and he also got drunk at a bar when we went to Mexico. I also had a couple drinks and we ended up like messing around the second floor. And then he decided that it would be a great idea to just jump off the floor, like jump off the second floor off the window towards the, towards, towards the street, which is concrete too. I was like, no! Anyway, anyway, Jason is completely, Jason is completely fine right now, fortunately, but oh man, what an adventure with this guy. But hey man, I love the guy.